getting ready to go to the gym, right? Absolutely. Okay. Tough day in the office. Tough day in the gym. <laughs> He just killed me with this rowing. Oh, I can barely stand up. Anyway, 10 minutes of off and on. He's brutal, he's a beast. Oh my God. What's that? The Ooh. All right, we will check that out now. done and we're uh, getting ready to oh god <laughs> getting ready to uh finish up What's here each other's backs? Uh, <laughs> we won't show you that we'll spare you no. workout done uh hard working day nice workout to finish to finish it off clear your mind home to the wifey <laughs> ditto So here we are in 1281 Loma Vista Drive in Truesdale, and let's introduce you to the glamorous listed agent. Hi, here hi. she is. Thank Tell you. us about your property here. First of all, thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Um, so we have a four bed, five bath. It's just shy of 4,800 square feet. Incredible views, but also privacy, and the flow of this house is incredible. Um, you can get indoor and outdoor feels from almost every single room. You gotta come in and see it in person. It's gotta fantastic. come in and see it in person. How many beds and baths do we have here? Four beds, five baths. And how many square feet is the house? It's 4,798 square feet. And how big is the lot? It's about 23,000 square feet. So really a tremendous, absolute turnkey luxury property in Truesdale, listed by one of our own PLG pirates. <laughs> Come on down. This is the house to see in Beverly Hills right now. One Loma Vista, and and this actually is my native territory. This is where I grew up and I lived over on Hillcrest Road. I have many friends on Loma Vista. This is a fantastic street, a great location to Sunset Boulevard, to Beverly Hills, and to Westwood. So you got to come take a look at this. It's a terrific home. Throughout the 20s, Beverly Hills developed a reputation as a gathering place with rodeos, horse and dog shows, and car racing. With the influx of people, the city's needs increased with demands for schools, churches, 
and more parks. Over a five-year period starting in 1923, new bond issues helped finance the expansion and construction of the public schools Hawthorne, Beverly Vista, Horseman, and El Rodeo. At the end of the decade, Beverly Hills was poised to become a major force in Los Angeles. Pleasure to introduce you to 1026 Ridgedale, over 12,000 square feet on a 1.2 acre lot. Five beds, 13 baths, tennis courts, um, pool house, guest house, lots of extras. This place is incredibly designed uh, with impeccable taste. It's flawless. Wait till you see inside. Once again, incredibly thoughtfully designed, incredible pool house by their corner. It was more like a lodge, like a country lodge or something. For the final coup de grace here, it's this incredible tennis court, along with living quarters right behind me. You can see it if I move away. Uh, equipped with everything you'd want. So you can have your tennis pro live on the premises, give you lessons, it's a good trade. Uh, pool, walkway, grounds, everything here, perfect, done to perfection. Fantastic house this is, we just saw this was built in 1934 by Frederick March and designed by Wallace Neff. Fantastic historical Beverly Hills home. Gotta see. Little Ethiopia is located in the Mid-Wilshire district of Central Los Angeles. It's known for its collection of Ethiopian restaurants, coffee shops, boutiques, and thrift stores. The area has a high concentration of Ethiopian restaurants and businesses, as well as a significant concentration of residents of Ethiopian ancestry. Los Angeles County hosts the second largest Ethiopian American population, unofficially estimated at 60,000. Hi, good morning, Lon, here walking through Carthay. It's a terrific place just east of Beverly Hills, historic preservation zone. Let's take a look at some of the really nice houses around here. I hope you liked uh, South Carthay. It's really a nice place. If you want to uh, know more about it, uh, give me a call, 818-268-9953. That's Lon Levin Real Estate. I'm at PLG Estates in Beverly Hills. Uh, we just moved to the Pacific Design Center. It's a terrific place, even if you just want to come over there and have coffee with me. Terrific. Just give me a call.
I love this home. It's a, it's a very cozy, zen, creative space. One wonderful thing about it is Wonderland uh, Elementary School. We have kids, so it really worked out for us to have an amazing public, one of the best in the country school, and it's a walking distance down the street. And one of my favorite bonuses here is I'm Italian. So I love to entertain and have big dinner parties and have people over, and we have so much space for party. Basically, we can eat outside, we can eat inside, and we just have this wonderful atmosphere, which is not quite Tuscany, but close.